And now for the most anticipated address of the evening. I call on the podium Mr. Sachin Tendulkar to address our crowd. Good evening, friends. It's, it's fantastic to see this energy. I remember, I remember when I was, I was an active sportsman. It's, it's hard to digest that I'm no more an active sportsman. Not as lucky as you. Age is not on my side. Um, I have on number of occasions experience uh, being on the other side of the stage which is believe me far more exciting and uh, to be out in the middle and compete rather than having this microphone in front of me I really enjoyed myself having a cricket bat in my hand you guys have you guys have traveled miles across uh, to, to, to participate in this wonderful tournament. My advice, or rather I can say message because I'm, I'm not that old to give you advice, I can only give you a message, is compete in the right spirit. To me, cricket taught me a lot of things uh, right from my school days. Cricket taught me to prepare for an event, to plan how I want to move forward and then to be able to execute those plans was even more important. I think to respect your opposition, your teammates is really important. I can understand everyone is out here to win. Not everyone can be winners. But you can definitely win everyone's hearts. You can, you can win some games, you can lose some games. In my career, I haven't won all the games. But something which sport teaches you is when there is failure, when you're faced with challenges, sport teaches you to get back on your feet again and compete harder in the right spirit. And that's what my message to you would be. Compete hard, but play in the right spirit and respect your sport above all. I hope you enjoy this, uh, this sports competition and give your best and make your team proud. All the very best. I, I don't... I don't think the crowd is crowd is nearly done with you yet. We have a few questions which we have received from the crowd itself. They want to know what passion means for you and how do you think your passion for cricket is any different from their passion for their sport or in, on the other hand uh, the passion of a student for his academics, for his research. Uh, to talk about passion, I can think of my school days when I was studying and at the same time playing cricket. I used to be practicing in the nets. My coach would be standing behind the nets, waiting for me to leave the nets because it was dark like this and I couldn't see the ball. Magar net se bahar nahi aana tha. Whereas in the classroom while studying, I would be waiting for my teacher to finish the lesson so that I could get back on the field and play. So for me, passion is that, you know, the number of, the number of hours that I practiced, I never got tired, but the moment I reached home, I fell asleep and on a number of occasions, I didn't even have the energy to have, have a proper meal. And, and my, I, I've written in my book also that my aunt in my sleep used to feed me so that I could 
get up and play the next day. So for, for me, passion is that and I, I believe all of you are equally passionate because if, if you're not passionate, you wouldn't have been here. And I'm sure you've made a lot of sacrifices. You've led a disciplined life to achieve your dream. So I believe to, to achieve your dream, you've got to chase it hard. There will be obstacles. There'll be hurdles along the way. But keep pushing yourself hard. So on a number of occasions, we push ourselves hard and then we turn back thinking that, you know, we've tried and it hasn't worked. Whereas success is waiting for you around the corner. So don't give up, is, is what I will say. And passion allows you to push yourself harder. Just find a reason to wake up in the morning and, and chase your dreams and push yourself harder. Uh, sir, you have a vision that you term as sports for all. Can you please enlighten us as to what that means and how we as students could contribute to it? Sports for all, I strongly believe that in schools, right from the grassroots level, all the children should engage themselves in outdoor activity. Go out on a playground and, and run around, choose some sport and, and get passionate about that sport. It is by no means I'm trying to say that I'm trying to convert the entire nation to, to become sportsmen. It is just to lead healthy life, healthy lifestyle, because I was reading somewhere and uh, uh, it was baffling to know that uh, there are 62 million plus diabetic patients in India. And it is one record that we should not be proud of and one record that we should change. And only by leading active, healthy life, we're going to bring that number down. And I believe also it is, it is about engaging yourself more into outdoor activity and not just you know exercise your thumbs because I see a lot of kids playing video games all the time either on their laptops or their iPads or computers phones and all that I think, I think uh, you should spend more energy out on the field and sports for all it is uh, something which which is dear to me and I I think it, it has potential of changing and making the entire nation healthier and happier. I, my suggestion to all of you, you are saying what would, how would you contribute? You could contribute by staying active like this, like all my young brothers and sisters are here, all the sportsmen. Uh, let's, let's engage ourselves into some sporting activity and lead a healthy life. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your words of motivation.